Instructors can view students' activity on a quiz. This activity includes when the student started and completed the quiz, when each question was saved, and the IP address of the computer the quiz was taken on. If you don't see a submission from the student because they said, I submitted the quiz, but you don't see a submission, it's most likely they have started the quiz but never submitted it. You may want to review the tutorial on viewing a student's submission before it was submitted to understand how to deal with that. To view the student's activity, you need to click on the Submission Review tab on the nav bar. Click Quizzes. You want to click on the context menu next to the name of the quiz you wish to view submissions. Click Grade. You then want to click on, uh, you're going to see this, this is going to take you to the user tab. You're going to view the student submission by clicking on the attempt name underneath of their name. You're then going to click on the quizzes event log. Now the quizzes event log opens in a new window and you'll see more details about the student's activity when taking the quiz. So for example, you're going to see when the quiz was started and completed. That's what this written area is called. And then in the event log, you're going to see the time the questions and pages were saved, including when the quiz was started, that's quiz entry, and when the quiz com was submitted or completed, which is the quiz completion. This information is very useful because each question has to be saved within my course's quizzes. You can determine, for example, if the student's lying about saying they saved every answer. Because you'll get that. Students will say, I saved that answer. And then you'll look here and you'll see, oh my god, they didn't save the answer. Now, in one case here, you'll see that question one, and there's no qu save from question two, but when they move from question page one to two, it did save question two. So it automatically saves them. You can also view the IP address by selecting Show IP Address, and it will show them. Then you go ahead and click Close. If you want to view the next student submission, click on the little blue arrow in the upper right of the page. This will take you to the next student submission, and you can view their quiz event log. However, if the student had, if you allow multiple attempts, you can click on this drop down attempt area, click on the next attempt, and then you can view the quiz log from that specific attempt. So you can do that for each quiz event. And then again, when you're finished, you can view the log there, click Close, then click Save and Close. Now, sometimes you may want to see if, if you have a suspicion that two students have been cheating, you want to be able to see the, the, the IP addresses from each. So what you do is go into the attempt like we've done before, click on the quiz event log for the student, and instead of closing it, what you're going to go ahead and do, and you're going to show the IP addresses, you're going to minimize it so it's down on the, in the taskbar. You're going to navigate to the next student. You're going to click on the quiz event log for the next student. You're going to click on show IP address and then you're going to go to the taskbar and bring up the other IP address and move it whoops, side by side. I'll move it too close. And then you could see if the students have the same IP address and therefore more than likely have been